So I found this pretty cool warehouse that I just uh, showed you a picture of. I thought we might as well start the video here. That's that, and this is now. I want to talk about something which I think is very prevalent in society at the minute. People doing everything for money. Now, the modern day, with all of the things that we've got going on, make it a very different experience when it comes to earning than what, say, people might have had 20, 30, 40 years ago. You've got people on the internet, whether it's making videos like this, selling simple products, or maybe something a little bit more niche, let's say. Anything can be making way more than your average job. It's super interesting and it's a super cool time to be alive. But we're living in a sort of hybrid time subsequently, where I'm out here at about five o'clock, and if you can see it down there, that's a road. And it's super busy. You know, people going home from work. Most people still work in this old school way. Regardless of how you work though, this video can apply to you. As this is more about the concept of money versus the way that we get it. Let's talk about why people give so much of their time to money. Now, for a lot of you, I'm sure this one's gonna be like, well, isn't that obvious, you know? People wanna work to make money. People wanna make money to live. People wanna make money to live well. People want nice cars, nice houses, nice lives. They want a nice future for the kids. They want their wife to be happy. They want to hopefully find somewhere to live that's affordable. And that's not unreasonable. I think it's about standard. But with that being said, a lot of people in the modern generation, especially my generation, have an extreme emphasis on not just getting by, but getting rich. Now, out of what some might call full transparency, I am one of these people. I'm super interested in the concept of becoming quite rich. I want to see what the world has to offer. I want to see what life has to offer. I want to see the finest performing of cars and the nicest of houses. That's me, but that's not everybody. Yet I see this entire, what you might call, generational shift to this way of living. Everyone wants to have that lifestyle, that rich lifestyle, that aspirational successful lifestyle and quite frankly it's not suited to everybody that's number one because this is not by the way a case of you know if you win the lottery who wouldn't do that as someone who's built a business that at its best has made ten thousand pounds in revenue a month and that's not a lot that's not enough to become a millionaire is it as someone who's done that this is not an easy process this is very very difficult and that's something to just get off the ground, you know. You could say it gets easier because you can leverage your capital more as you go on and so forth. But it's never going to be easy. It's a difficult job. Any job, any way of making a lot of money. There are easier ways than others, but whether it's a lot of money to put in initially, whether it's a lot of time to invest, whether it's a lot of stress but in a short period, there's always some sort of a downside. I don't say this to be a downer on the topic, I still think it's worth it for some. But with that being said, if you're a low stress tolerance person, this isn't for you, number one. And number two, past the comforts of life, why do we want these luxury goods? Now, again, I just said that I'm a big fan of a few of these things. I've never been into designer clothes or anything like that. I'm riding around on quite an expensive mountain bike because it performs better. It makes life easy to pedal. Some people have got expensive cars, maybe for similar reasons, or maybe something the like of that. But ultimately, that's not necessarily what you need. You know, past the core comforts of life, everything else is a privilege, right? But it's about not only is that work worth it for you, but ultimately, why do you want these things? Again, some people will not, some people will want them for only status. I see this all the time, the status, especially in people my generation and my age. I get a lot of older people watching these videos, and by the way guys, I'm thankful that you do. But generally I make these co this content geared towards people my age. And if, if you are around my age, maybe 10 years older or so, you'll understand this. Go to a nightclub, say, everyone, or all of the men at least, are wearing these big, garish logo tops. 
things that I know cost I cannot say are worth because I don't think it can ever be worth it but things that cost hundreds of pounds for a t-shirt thousands of pounds for a coat this is common so certain things like you know this bike that performs better certain things like cars that are nicer to drive or more luxurious I, I get that to a point but is it what you want or is it the status that you want I think that big business and big money that being financial companies whether that be um hedge funds or institutions like that by making everyone geared up to money they've done an interesting thing what they've been able to do is make it so that everyone wants money everyone chases money which is like well yeah you know get your bag that's cool and it is good to see people doing well but what do you do for this most people work hard very hard which means that they're very productive to these very systems and when hedge funds and banks and capital firms own all of these systems who are you really benefiting who are you really helping so what i'm saying is for me the concept of you know making a lot of money it, it is for the luxury goods and it is for the fact that i want to travel the world and it is for the fact that i want to live quite frankly worry free but at the same time make sure you do it for the right reasons i think chasing money for the sake of chasing money is a vicious cycle it can only have limited benefit to you before it starts to become quite frankly jarring stressful worrying a lot of hard hard work that's just not worth it you know let's have a look let's just turn all of this traffic That's what we're looking at all to make the basic ends meet and maybe to have an, a few nicer things you know people don't think about what's really going to benefit them they'll buy the i don't know let's just pick a random car down there they'll buy the bmw on finance without thinking about the fact that the 700 pounds a month that they're spending to finance the m4 could be spent investing in stocks could be spent putting money away from the future could be spent on essentially other things it just makes more sense for a lot of people i'm not going to tell anyone how to live nor should i but what i would say to anybody who wants to have a decent life is be conscious of what you're working for why you're doing it and what it genuinely is going to mean for you that is going to vary depending on person to person as you'd expect but do it for the right reasons guys I can't tell you what they are I don't know myself I know what it is for me it's less about say the money and more about perhaps having a successful business in the sense that you've achieved something you've done well for yourself versus the likes of you know oh let's just get some money to get some money we're doing it for a purpose doing it for a plan doing it with a vision and that's what I want to make happen and again, given this sort of uniform concept of what a good life looks like or what it means to everybody, isn't going to help people with their journey of self actualization. And I know some people in the comment section, they've actually said it in some of my videos oh, self actualization, you know, your generation is soft. We didn't have self actualization in the 60s. No, I'm sure you didn't. But yet again, even if you're working, let's say, 40 50 hours back then you'd have something to show for it right whereas now you're buying all this expensive stuff a lot of it's on finance you don't even own it i've heard a thing about certain mortgages being put from say 25 years which is already a very long time up to 30 40 year mortgages your average person is owning less and less so with that being said it's the money culture in my opinion that's not helping you know everyone out here not to do something for themselves but to do something to look cool i'm not going to tell you what a stable life looks like i'm figuring that out for myself and i make no secret of that but it's about figuring out what that looks like for you and quite frankly if you're anybody with a personality a preset concept of what life should be may not be your best bet so 
the money culture has it resulted in better lives to an extent it has you know people have got more money that does appear to now be reversing that trend but you know those who work hard can still make something decent of themselves whether that's here in the uk or abroad you can do really well with yourself right i think everyone can admit that it may be harder now than it has been but you still can but what's the cost of doing that and is it really the life that you want anyway now that i've said that let's zoom out this camera so i can show you guys this interesting path that we're walking down i think this is more what life is all about you know pretty picturesque sort of countryside area even though we're in basically the, the, the middle of a city but you know just out here on a what tuesday afternoon filming some videos riding a bike having fun even me who wants to make a big business i don't really chase money it's about doing one of two things number one could be realizing that to you it doesn't matter at all and I think number two would be finding a way to make it easier so that you don't necessarily have to chase it. Anyway, that's all I had to say on this one. And I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for watching until this point. And I hope I'll see you soon. Goodbye for now, guys. See you soon. And remember, stay safe out there.